Alexandra Adivia. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody called me Teresa. <laughs> God, I feel like my husband called me Teresa. <laughs> because that's what they can. <laughs> and I can't, like, I can't wrap my head around it. When I arrive in LA, I just notice that nobody can really read. I mean, my name is like, it's like, it's simple. It's like T-H-I-P-A-P-O-R-N-C-H-A-N-D-R-A-D-I-B-Y-A. What is so hard about that? <laughs> oh, well. Try, try, try. Do you know what you're going to do? You know, I'm, I'll, I'll be okay with tea. You can get my income with tea. So I'll forgive you. <laughs> um, so I'll tell you a little bit about me. I'm actually a, a super, super happy person. It, it pisses people off. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll be, I'll be very happy. When I'm very happy, I would like to sing. I sing on the top of my lungs. I learned that from my mother. Thank you, Mom. Um, I would be like, oh, she's a big fan of Julia Andrews, so I'd be like, the hills are alive with the sound of music, with songs they've sung for a thousand years. And then I'll get like, um, hey, lady, we're trying to register here. It's a DMV. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll be like, um, okay, well, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hat. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hat. If you're happy and you know it, and you really are the show, but if you're angry and you know it, fuck right on. <laughs> I'm a really happy person. I mean, I'm not lying. Ask my children. <laughs> I'm a happy person. Right? I have a I have a happy husband. I have like children. I have dog. I have cat. I have um. I'm happy about the squirrel running in my my yard. I I love the animals. I love animal activists. Not sure what else. Um, actually, I I think I think I'm always happy because I don't remember shit most of the time. I forget. I forget. I forget. I forget. Now, even though even though I, I'm always happy, there are things that I that doesn't make me very happy. It's like um. The children. <laughs> I feel like I try to avoid them whenever I can. Like my best friend with a three-year-old, she'll call me up and say, "Hey, Teresa, let's have lunch." And I'll be like, "Okay." Like who's coming? Me and David with this whole full new set of Lego. Um, no, I'm, uh, I'm on a fast. Uh, I'll be fasting for the next 10 years. And um, actually, I'll fast until he turned 18. When he move up, he call me out. Oh, you know, that's how, how far I would go with um, you know being around children. It's just, you know, Halloween. You've seen Halloween? Like, people will be scared of, like, People dressing out like it clown or you know the screen guy, be tall, scary, be nice. <laughs> and I would be like looking around and saying, like, Oh my god, they're everywhere. <laughs> just those children being children. You know, they're just they're just there. It's just, just being them scares me. <laughs> like they um how do I put this? Like, they, they, they don't know proper. Like, they'll go into the theater, my God forbid. Even, even the cell phones stay silent, and then there'll be kids sitting there. Like, 
somehow whatever make them unhappy and they'd be crying. <laughs> and then like, okay, you look at the mom and then she's crying and you'd be like, oh my God, you still, you have to be nice. You have to be nice, you have to smile. And you're kind of like, hey, can you please like turn that thing like down? <laughs> please keep it down. You can't even tell the mom that I really want you to have a mute button on your child. Turn it off before you walk into this theater. You know, but that's not proper. We're supposed to not only tell them, we're supposed to teach them and smile about it. You know? It's, in, it's interesting. Or like, I've been on the airplane. Have you been on an airplane with a bored child? Um, have a two-year-old, like, running, you're sitting right near the, the aisle, and then they're running by. They're running back. <laughs> Yay! Having fun, looking at you, smiling. And you look at them. And they look at you again, expect a smile back. And you're like, I just want to mind my business and think about things. And so you're sitting, running for the 15,000th time. And you're still sitting there, and you're like, oh my god, okay. I'll just, you already put like the, the vomit back over your head. Like hide yourself so they don't see you, and they don't look at you, and they don't run after by you. And then, um, and then you put the, the earpiece into your ear, ear and you try to not listen to them. And finally, you gotta get up, get into the bathroom, and stay there for the rest of the flight. <laughs> So I'm telling you, like a flight to Thailand, <laughs> 16 hours, no joke. <laughs> well, enough about that, and I want to tell you a little bit more about me. I'm also a whore. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> Durr. I don't, I don't throw away stuff. Um, like, yeah, I could be your mom. <laughs> Seven-year-old, like, um, hard police son. <laughs> He's here, by the way. <laughs> he came to watch and kind of control my morning. Um, he would ask me, like, Mom, you want to keep this? And I'd be like, Yeah. And he'd be like, Really? This Campbell chicken noodle soup expired June 2006. <laughs> they're actually good for you. They're nutritious. And they're good for you when you when you have upset stomach. You know, yeah, I'll keep them. Yeah. So I I hoard in the kitchen. I hoard in many places. There's other items that really hoard a lot. Oh, I hoard sauce. <laughs> hey Joseph, where are you? <laughs> You need any sauce? I'll hook you up, man. Oh, <laughs> Tell me back you for that. Thank you very much. I'm Teresa Shagra.